teachers. If you're looking for a new tool to help improve the atmosphere within your classroom, look no further than Class Dojo. It's appropriate for K-12 and can help you to improve the atmosphere of your classroom as well as to improve communication with your parents. Hi and welcome to the Class Dojo Training Series Course 1. My name is Keisha Arsenault and in this course I'll be introducing you to Class Dojo sharing with you some of its features and uses, and helping you to create your own account and set up your first class. So, what is Class Dojo? Well, it's a behavior management tool for the classroom. Each student has their own profile and student-selected avatar, and teachers can assign both positive and negative points throughout their lesson. Some benefits of Class Dojo include an increased positive class atmosphere, where students become motivated to earn reward points, Let's face it, most teachers' behavior management plan currently consists of recording only the negative. This tool helps to put the focus on what students are doing right. Class Dojo also increases student motivation through gamification. Game elements such as student-selected avatars and points really tap into the mentality and motivation inherent in gaming. Students can log into their account at any time and track their points, and teachers can even choose to display their dashboard as a leaderboard of sorts during class time. This program gives students and parents instant feedback. While teachers can still print paper-based reports to send home, parents and students can actually log in at any time from any device to see how things are going. If little Johnny gets a reward for being a leader at 9 a.m. in Ms. Johnson's class, at 9.05, a parent can log in from home and see the point he earned. Furthermore, teachers can control whether or not they want the program to make a noise when they reward points as well. Much like Pavlov's dogs, students become conditioned to the positive and negative noise and will react accordingly without any necessary verbal intervention or encouragement from the teacher at all. As mentioned earlier, parents can log in at home to see their child's progress at any time. It's easy to get parents on board with easily printed out parent invitations. New features even allow parent-teacher instant messaging as well as sharing students' photos with their parents when they are on task. Additionally, Class Dojo tracks all student data automatically and can show overall averages and trend reports both for whole groups and for individual students. This is a great tool for behavior tracking and pinpointing trouble times or activities for specific groups or students. Setup for teachers is quick and easy, and classes can be set up by simply copying and pasting your student list from your gradebook. No need to type every student's name in. Once your classes are set up, you can customize your feedback by editing existing positive and, and negative feedbacks, and even adding your own as well. This helps you to not only reinforce school values, but also your class expectations as well. You can easily print student and parent invitations. Each child will have a unique code, but once they log in, they just need to remember their login and password. Class Dojo is accessible from Apple and Android devices. This means that teachers don't have to be tied to a desktop to use it. Class Dojo has added features we haven't even touched on yet that will be covered in the next Class Dojo courses. However, here is a list of potential uses as you increase in your knowledge and implementation of Class Dojo. Now, let's get started by visiting ClassDojo.com and setting up your account. Okay, here we are at ClassDojo.com and um, I do want to show you right here teacher resources. I'm just going to click here very quickly. There's a wealth of information here. Class Dojo was excellent about supporting their teachers. There's all kinds of great information here for those of you who are independent learners. So if you want to take this and run with it, this is where you need to go to get more information. However, I'm going to go ahead and help you get set up with your account. So the blue button in the middle of the screen that says sign up as a teacher, parent, or student is what you need to click. Then you're going to click on the heart that says teacher. And then fill out just some basic information here, name, email, password. They'll send you um, an email so that you can um, confirm um, your email account. It's just very basic. I'm going to log into my account now so that you can see it from my perspective. And you'll see that on my account, I actually already have several classes set up. 
um, yours, your space will be empty here, but you will have this add your class button. And that's what you need to click to add your first class. When you click it, it gives you a basic menu, so you can choose um, a name for your class. I'm going to name this one a science class, and I'm going to change uh, the little icon to something sciencey. I like this one. Um, I'm going to choose seventh grade, and I'm going to create this class. Now. Um, I'm going to add just a couple students just by typing them in. However, you do not have to add students this way by typing them in. You can just copy and paste from Word or copy and paste from Excel. And you can see when I was typing in students' names, and you can choose just first names, um, it'll automatically generate an avatar for them. You can click on that and edit it. Um, now, I usually just allow my students, I allow the ones that pop up to be what the students find when they first get there, and then students will usually like to pick their own. I'm going to say done adding students. Um, it says they went ahead and created invitations for my whole class, so they've already done all that work. And you can actually go ahead and download those invitations. Um, it's generating it for every student in your class right now. I'm going to click on it just so you can see it. And you would just print these out. On the left is how students get in. It's their student code. And on the right is the parent code and their directions as well. And then you can get a parent signature verifying that they've actually signed up. So that's awesome. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to say I'm done with my parents. I'm going to add a behavior. I'm going to make it a king. I'm going to say a leader. I'm going to make it worth two points, and I'm going to save and close. Look, I just added a two-point um, positive. You can also add needs work just by clicking on the add behavior, like maybe they're talking at a turn. Uh, this looks like talking, and you can save and close. So there I added uh, talking right there. So I'm going to finish with this, and... I am actually ready to go now. I have my first class, I have my first students, um, and I'm ready to give them some points. So I can give Sally a point for being on task, and Joe, maybe he's um, talking. So I hope that you've enjoyed this training. Um, so far you have learned what Class Dojo is, what it's used for, how to set up your account and create your class, and edit your uh, your behaviors as well as assign some of those points. Uh, keep in mind that this is just the first course. There will be additional courses showing you um, more advanced skills and uh, good luck with implementing Class Dojo in your classroom. You can use Class Dojo to help motivate and inspire your students to really push their work beyond where it is now. So check out Class Dojo today.